It's a long story. Is this the room you grew up in? Uh, it, it is. The Spider-Man franchise is without a doubt one of the most popular franchises in the world because pretty much everyone has heard about Spider-Man. Not only is the franchise popular, but it is also one of the most successful franchises in history because it has generated about $9.7 billion. It currently sits third on the list of highest grossing franchises and it is only outranked by the Marvel franchise and the Star Wars franchise. Where do you want to go first? Let's start at the beginning one last time. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is a sequel to the 2018 movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is kind of obvious from the title because, well, it just tells us that we are going to be seeing more of the Spider-Verse. In Spider-Man Into the Universe, we got to meet Miles Morales, a teenager who has a secret identity of Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse was a great success and pulled in more than $370 million at the box office. And while that amount is way less than what Tom Holland's Spider-Man pulled in, 370 million dollars is still a great number, especially since the budget was about 80 million dollars. Part of the reason that Into the Spider-Verse was very popular is because Miles Morales is the first black Spider-Man in the history of the superhero. Every other variation of Spider-Man has been white, and fans praised Into the Spider-Verse for its inclusivity because, well, you just don't see a lot of black superheroes out there. Now, while Into the Spider-Verse was a great movie on accounts, Across the Spider-Verse is expected to be even better. Of course, Across the Spider-Verse is still going to keep some stuff from its predecessor. There are some big changes that will change everything. I'm talking about really big changes, but the good thing is, is that the changes are mostly good, and they mean that we are going to get an even more enjoyable movie. Hey there. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak them out. One of the best things about Tom Holland's Spider-Man No Way Home is that the concept of the multiverse was fully explored. We got to see a lot of characters from different timelines in the multiverse. We saw both heroes and villains, and it was really good. Another great part of the movie was when they recreated the viral Spider-Man meme, but that's by the way. At the end of the No Way Home, Peter Parker got strange to fix things and repair the timeline, and the multiverse was closed. Well, it turns out that No Way Home does not have the sole rights to the multiverse because, from what we've heard, we're going to be seeing something pretty similar to the multiverse and across the Spider-Verse. Of course, it's not called the multiverse because that would be a little too confusing. It's called the Spider-Verse and according to confirmed reports, Across the Spider-Verse is going to be doing more than its fair share of exploring the concept of different timelines. In fact, not only will the movie be taking place on different timelines, but it will be taking place on six different Spider-Verses. And we thought three different timelines in No Way Home was a lot. This is where things get even more interesting. The sources also revealed that each Spider-Verse will have its own Spider-Person, which makes sense because you can't have a Spider-Verse without a Spider-Person, can you? Now, did you notice that I said Spider-Person and not Spider-Man? Well, that's because not all the Spider-People in the Spider-Verses are going to be men. This means that in addition to having different Spider-People who are from different times in history, we will be having some spider women as well. Can you imagine how cool that's gonna be? As I said earlier, we are going to be getting six different spider verses, but we don't know exactly how many spider men and how many spider women we are gonna get. But what we do know is that it has been confirmed that at least two of the spider people are women. So we're either getting two spider women and four spider men, or three spider men and three spider women. We don't know for sure, and we all know how Marvel and Sony like to keep things hush-hush, so we're gonna have to wait until the movie comes out to know more for sure. The movie's inclusivity has been praised by fans, and many people think that this is a step in the right direction. With a leading black Spider-Man and the inclusion of female superheroes, well, it's safe to assume that Across the Spider-Verse is going to be a really big hit and may even be bigger into the Spider-Verse. gotta go home, eh? How do I know I'm not gonna mess it up again? You won't. 
In addition to exploring more of the Spider-Verse, reports also have that Across the Spider-Verse has also been confirmed to have a much larger cast than Into the Spider-Verse. Now, it's pretty common for superhero movies to have a large cast because between the villains, the superhero, his friends and family, well, that's just a lot of people. But Across the Spider-Verse is going to take things to a whole different level because it is going to feature 240 characters. Yeah, you heard that right. There are going to be 240 different characters in Across the Spider-Verse. Fans have expressed concern that the large number of characters may make the movie feel disjointed and it might end up being a flop. This is a valid concern because it can be quite difficult to manage that many characters, but if there is anyone who can pull it off, it's Sony. In addition to having a really big cast, the movie also has a lot of crew members and a thousand people have been confirmed to have worked on the movie. It sounds like a large number, well, that's because it is. Across the Spider-Verse has set the record for the largest number of crew members working on a single film. It makes a lot of sense that this movie has a large crew because, like I said earlier, it can be quite difficult to manage a movie with 240 characters. And speaking of characters… The only trouble is… One of us has to stay behind and destroy it. I'll do it. It goes without saying that a larger number of actors means that there is going to be a lot of new faces in the new movie. After all, Into the Spider-Verse only had one Spider-Verse, while we're going to be looking at five more Spider-Verses in the new movie. Plus, Across the Spider-Verse is going to have 240 characters, which is significantly more than what we saw Into the Spider-Verse. Some actors have been confirmed to join the movies, and one of such is Rachel Dratch, who will voice the principal at my Miles Morales' high school. Other actors that have been confirmed include Issa Rae, who is going to play Jessica Drew or Spider-Woman, a Spider-Woman from another Spider-Verse. Jessica Drew's Spider-Woman is pregnant and fans are kind of excited about this one because it's going to be really interesting to see how she's going to navigate being pregnant and being a superhero, especially since she is going to be going on all sorts of adventures into the other Spider-Verses in this movie. I mean, it's not every day that we see a pregnant Spider-Woman now, is it? It is also been confirmed that the character Taka Yashirmo is going to be making an appearance. For those who don't know who the character is, he is a Japanese Spider-Man, and he is also known as, well, Japanese Spider-Man. But even though we know that the character is going to be in the movie, we don't know who is going to be voicing him yet because those details are being kept hush-hush. Now we taught him that, right? I didn't teach him that. And you definitely didn't. So, with all this said, when is the movie going to be released? Well, the movie had an initial release date of April 2022, which means that it should have already hit the movie theaters. But then the pandemic happened, and as we all know, it affected a whole lot of things in the movie industry, so in April 2020, the date was pushed forward to October 2022. But then the release dates were also shifted yet again, and this time it was June 2023. The current release date still stands at June 2023, so it looks like we still have more than a year to wait. This means that there are going to be five years between Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse, but hey, at least it looks like it's going to be good and worth it. Now, it's time for me to hear back from you guys. What do you think about this movie? Do you think it's going to be as good as Into the Spider-Verse? Do you think that six Spider-Verses is a lot? Don't be shy and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then you should give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss amazing content like this. Thank you, Miles. From both of us.